All right. Hello, real estate agents and brokers. It is me, Elder Reyes, and I am your real estate technology coach. I am also CEO and co-founder of RE Digital, the number one um, real estate website developer and number one real estate digital marketing agency on the planet. Super stoked about today's video because it's a question or a topic that realtors and brokers always ask me whenever I do a consultation or or just get on the phone with them. And it usually goes something like this, like, Elder, like, how do I get my website on the first page of Google, right? Like, how do I get more traffic? How do I get more leads? Because we all know that when it comes to the real estate industry, 90 to 95 percent of folks, um, when, it, when they're looking for real estate services, start their search on the internet, right? And we also know that unless you're on page one, two, or three of Google, or one, two, or three of Bing, or even one, two, or three of Yahoo, or whatever search engine you want to be using, unless you're on one of those first three pages, you're really not getting any traffic. You're really, you're really not getting any leads unless you are specifically sending them to your site, right? Uh, because I believe last time I checked, it says that 97% of people don't go past page three, 72 or like 75% stop at page one. So really it's page one, two or three. I always tell people page one and two where you want to be if you want to get any traffic, any leads from your website when it comes to people doing searches on the internet, right? So it's super important to get on that first page of Google. But the problem is it's very difficult, right? Especially in the real estate space where we know you have those power platforms like Zillow and Trulia and Redfin and Mavoto and, and stuff like that, right? So today's video, that's what we're talking about is three quick tips or just pieces of advice that you could use on your website the minute you get done watching this video to help you get on that first page of Google, right? So uh, you're definitely going to want to grab a pad, a pen, and, and just take some notes because this is going to be some just some real things that, hey, just as soon as you get done done watching this video, start doing them. Um, and, and, it, and it will definitely, definitely um, help your ranking, right? So tip number one or or piece of advice number one for getting your real estate website on the first page of Google is you have to add at least three pieces of content every single week to your website, right? So one of the biggest mistakes I see realtors and brokers make with their website is you guys buy this website. It looks good, has all the bells and whistles, but then you guys don't continue to add content, right? You guys don't continue to update it. I'm going to tell you right now, if you think you're going to buy a website in today's internet world, especially for the real estate industry, and just buy a website and add like one blog post or one video every single month, and it's going to be on the first page of Google and, and launch rocket ships for you. Like, that's just not going to happen, right? The real estate industry, unfortunately, is super, super competitive, right? So getting on that first page of Google, you need to be doing at least three, I say even sometimes five updates to your website every single week, specifically about you, your brand, your market, and it needs to be unique, right? So give me, let me give you an example of, of the way I would do it, right? So, or and that we're doing it for some of our clients who are on that first page of Google for very, very competitive markets, right? So let's just say I was a real estate agent in Orange County, California, and the three markets that I'm targeting are like Huntington Beach and Newport and Laguna, right? So maybe week one of the month, I do three blog posts talking about Huntington. Maybe week two of the month, I'm doing a couple of videos talking about Newport and then maybe doing, um, going around Newport and taking some pictures, right? And then going, um, you know, using the Geo Imager software that I've talked about here and or the G it's a little tool you can use to go ahead and put the coordinates of the photo, and then talking a little bit about it, right? And then and then maybe um, week three, when it comes to Laguna, I do a blog post, I do a video, and then maybe I, I add a page talking about how I actually helped a buyer who was having difficulty finding a home in Laguna, and I went ahead and, and you know, helped them out. And because of the, you know, the services that I provide, I was able to to get them in the home that they wanted in the area for the price point that they were, that they were looking for. Right. So, um, I mean, there's all different types of, of, of content you can add to your website. I always tell folks blog posts, adding new pages, adding videos, adding photos are usually my go-tos. And if you have issues with like ideas for content, I always say, Go to answerthepublic.com. It's an amazing website. 
No, I don't own it or anything because people are like, man, you mentioned that website a lot. Well, it's owned by a gentleman named Neil Patel. He's like an SEO guru god. Um, and so he knows everything about getting your website ranked on the search engines. He bought this platform. And what happens is what you can do, you can go to answerthepublic.com, put in like Huntington Beach Real Estate, and it'll give you like 150 topics that you can actually use for content, whether it's a video, whether it's a blog post, whether whether it's, you know, um, a short form video, whether it's an article you want to write, whether it's you're like, maybe it tells you, you know, hey, this restaurant is trending right now. This and, and, and you know, in Huntington Beach, go there, take a picture of it or maybe about what's, you know, some photos around the restaurant and, and do a little blog post about it or maybe do a quick video about it standing up there. Do a reel about it on Facebook and then download it and then put it on your website. There's so many different things that you can do that adding three pieces of content to your website website every single week should not be difficult because like I always tell you guys um if you think you're doing one blog post a month and you're going to get on that first page of Google, it's just not going to happen, right? Because according to Google, you can even go on their 300-page um, document that they send out when it comes to getting on the first page. One of the big things that, they're, that, they're, that they kind of look for when it comes to blog posts is 60, right? Until you're at like 60 blog posts, it's not even really looking at your site, right? There's even this thing out there that a lot of marketers believe when it comes to SEO called the Google Sandbox, where they believe like in your first six months, Google's got you in this little sandbox to where it's going to be almost impossible to get you on that first page of Google. Obviously, when it comes to getting on the first page of Google, um, traffic trumps everything. I mean, if you can get a website and somehow get it like 5,000 people going to it every single month, yeah, Google will definitely take notice. But for the most part, when you first launch a site, it's very very difficult or even if you've had a site out there that hasn't got a lot of traffic and now you're starting to make these changes it is going to take some time right so just keep that in mind as well but number one adding three pieces of content every single week is huge um, and when it comes to the content guys don't go out there and just start copying stuff that everyone else is doing, right? I'm talking unique, fresh content, unique to your brand, unique to you, unique to your markets, right? Don't go out there and just copy and paste stuff. Yes, go out there and, and look at some of the websites that are on the first, second, third page of Google and see what they're doing in terms of the types of content that they're pushing. But definitely you want to make sure it's unique to you, your brand, and the website because if not, you will get penalized for that. Um, tip number two, and this is one that um, we've been doing for a while, and it's every time we do this for a client um, and, and we just see that big spike in traffic, that big spike in ranking, they're all like, what did you guys do, man? Like, I've, I've hired tons of SEO companies. I've hired tons of website companies. I've never had my website on the first page of Google. Like, how did you get us up there? And so... When it comes to your website, right? And so this is definitely, I'm going to talk a little slower here. When, when it comes to your website, you're usually targeting keywords, right? Something like homes for sale in Huntington Beach or like homes for sale in Los Angeles or Los Angeles real estate and homes for sale, right? Those keywords or phrases, the reason why you've been told to target those throughout your whole career in real estate when it comes to your website is because they get the most traffic, right? They get the most what they call volume. The problem with those keywords or phrases is because they get the most volume, because they get the most traffic, they're also the most competitive, right? Meaning to get your website on the first page of Google for homes for sale in Huntington Beach, it's going to take a lot of work. We're talking a lot of blog posts, a lot of videos, a lot of content, a lot of coding updates, right? Um, because that space is saturated with websites. And on top of that, you're competing with the big boys like Trulia and Zillow, I know they're the same company, Realtor.com, Mavoto, and Redfin, right? So getting on the first page of Google for those is going to take some time. Now, yes, you definitely want to be targeting those keywords, but you also want to target what they call low-volume keyword searches. And why on earth are you going to – I would be asking me, Elder, why on earth would I want to target keywords that are not getting the most volume because they're the less competitive? And one of the things when it comes to getting your website ranked on the search engines is you want to get it ranked for keywords, right, that are specific to your industry as fast as possible. And doing that, 
or a little trick to do that is by targeting keywords that are specific to your industry, to your market, to your brand, right? To to what you're to what you're in business for as fast as possible. And if you're targeting low volume keyword searches, there's less competition. So how do I do that? And I have some really cool tools to show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. So uh, here we go. Share screen. Share. So I'm going to go, and we all know about ChatGBT and how awesome it can be, right? So, okay. So I'm going to go. You see, I've opened up my ChatGBT window, and this is we're doing this for our clients, and they're absolutely loving it. So I'm going to go. Give me low volume keyword search terms for, and let's just say homes for sale in Huntington Beach. See, and I hope I spelled that right. Boom. Now, what would I do with this list? I would go ahead and I would do blog posts or videos or, or just articles on these keyword phrases because although they're not the high volume keyword searches, they are real estate related. They are related to your market. And if we can get you ranked or you can get your website ranked for these keywords or phrases, Google will start to notice your site and then you'll actually have the ability to start getting ranked for those high volume keyword searches. Guys, this technique is one that has really come into play in, since like 2019, right? Because back in 2019, right, unless you were really targeting specific keyword searches, it was kind of difficult to get your website ranked effectively. But in 2019, Google made a huge update to its algorithm where if you can get on the first page for some of these low volume keyword searches, because they are related to your business because they are related to your market google will start to take notice and if it sees you pop up on the first page for these it'll start getting you popped up on the first page for those major competitive or high volume keyword searches guys so i know some of you guys are going like okay so what are like yes you still want to target the high volume keywords like huntington beach homes for sale but what you also want to do is you definitely want to start targeting low volume keyword searches for those same phrases, because if we can get you on the first page of Google for those, boom, I promise you, your website will start to climb the search engines for those high volume keyword searches. Because one of the things when it comes to getting ranked on Google is getting on the first page for something related to your website, right? So like if I'm a real estate agent in Huntington Beach, I think one of those low volume keyword searches is Huntington Beach real estate agents. If I was to get on the first page of Huntington Beach real estate agents, I'm pretty sure that that, that someone would see my site who's interested in real estate, click on it, go to it, do real estate related searches. Google will take note of that, boom, and you'll start seeing your website creep up those, those high volume keyword searches, guys. So just tip number two, Go to ChatGPT, type in exactly what I did. It's super easy. You want to type in the actual phrase is going to be, give me low volume keyword search terms for keywords and then type in the high volume one. And then whatever list that spits out, that's what you want to start doing blog posts for and videos for and, and you know, just articles for and pages for on your site. You want to get ranked for these as fast as possible. It should be relatively simple. It usually takes me about three to six pieces of content before I get one of my agents ranked on the first page for some of these. And then you will see your other, um, you will see your other, uh, 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 I'm sorry, you, you will see your other, uh, uh, you, you will see the website start creeping up for those other, other type of searches, man. So it's pretty cool. Um, you, that's, you know, like I said, that's definitely something that, that if you can get ranked for some of those low volume keyword searches, man, I'm telling you, you th that's when the magic happens because you want to get your website on the first page of something. Okay. That was tip number two. And then tip number three is one that I've been harping on forever and I'm still seeing you guys make that mistake and it's pretty simple and it goes like this 
if any social media button, any social media icon that you have on your website, it needs to be uniform with your website, meaning it needs to be delivering the same message. It needs to be talking about the same markets. It needs to be getting updated, right? At least three to five times per week with fresh and unique content. And all of that, you need to be driving them back to your site. Guys, Google has said, when it comes to your guys' website, it crawls these websites and actually looks at those social media buttons. And then it goes to those social media pages. If those pages are out of date, if those pages have not been optimized, if those pages have not gotten fresh content of during that week, or at least in the last seven days, if the content on there is not fresh and unique, Google does penalize your site. So tip number three, super easy. All your social media buttons that you have on your website, make sure they're optimized. Make sure they're getting at least three to five fresh posts every single week with unique content. And if you can even do it, make sure you're driving all that back to your site. But also make sure the message, the branding is uniform across the board, right? Talking about your services that you offer and the markets that you specifically are in. So, hey, I wanted to get this kind of straight to the point. I did venture a little bit too much, I think, maybe when it came to the getting ranked for low volume keyword searches. But that's a, a very, very important topic, in my opinion. So just a quick recap, three quick tips for getting your website on the first page of Google. Um, you need to be adding three pieces of content every single week, unique to your market, unique to you, unique to your brand, to your website, um, at least three pieces of content every single week. Content can be videos, blog posts, articles, pictures are usually my go-tos. If you're having trouble coming up with content, go to answerthepublic.com, do city, state, real estate, and that'll give you a bunch of really good topics to add to your site. Tip number two, start trying to get ranked for low volume keyword searches related to the high volume keyword searches that you're trying to target. For example, um, homes for sale in Huntington Beach, CA, go to go to um, chat GBT, type in, um, give me a list of low volume keywords for the following keyword search, type that in, it should give you a list. Try getting on the first page for one of those, right? Like it usually takes us about three to six pieces of content before I'm able to get somebody on the first page of Google for those um, low volume keyword searches. But once I do that, I notice for the more competitive ones, we'll start seeing their website rank. And that's how we're able to kind of shriek in that six month window know that Google kind of puts all websites in when it, when they first launch, right? Like a lot of times when we lost it, when we launch an agent's website, a lot of them go, well, hey, I've been told it takes at least six months before we see any type of ranking. And yes, it can take up to six months, but by just getting ranked for some of these low volume keyword searches, you can definitely shorten that um, and get you out of that. What, what we've heard in the marketing world is that Google sandbox, right? So apparently there's some crazy little box Google puts you in when you launch your website. Um, and we try to get you out of that as fast as possible. And then obviously tip number three, any type of social media buttons, any type of social media account that you have set up to your website, make sure it's getting updated at least three to five times per week. Make sure the content on those platforms is unique. Try to have that content pushing them back to your website. Make sure all those platforms are optimized. Uh, make sure that the, all, all the information on there is correct and it matches up with your website because Google does scan, does crawl those platforms as well. But um, anyways, I hope this video was super helpful. Do me do me a favor if you found the content interesting, um, if you have questions, if there's a topic you want me to cover, go ahead, leave a comment. Um, so, um, also, um, please subscribe to my channel. That way, whenever I do a new video, you get notified. If you have any, if you if you if you're at a brokerage and you guys have like sales meetings or trainings meetings, and you think this this video would be helpful, please show it with show it to them. And then, if you guys need help with your real estate website or digital marketing, please give us a call at RE Digital. 530-760-7827. Um, you can go to our company site, redigitalco.com, redigitalco.com. You can send me an email, elder at redigitalco.com, elder at redigitalco.com. Um, and thank you for all the support. Um, just some 
really cool things happening here at RE Digital. We were rec we were recently um, awarded as one of the, the the top startups for the real estate digital marketing industry by Startup.com. So super stoked about that. Um, we recently um, we got a really cool award from Google in regards to being a real estate full service digital marketing agency. So super excited about that as well. And that's because of you guys. So thank you for all your support. Leave some comments. Subscribe to my channel. Um, give me some give me some feedback. You like you like the black shirt. You like the V neck, right? You uh, my, my 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 you like my raspy voice. You want to see the some pictures in the background? Just give me something, right? I I always appreciate the interaction. Until next time, take care.